Okay, now you're recording. Okay. So. I love that. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. Where Where do I look? I look straight in the camera. Yeah, you could look in the camera. Do you look at the camera? Do you look at the thing? I'll just go look straight at myself. Hey, you guys! It's Vanilla Quo. I'm here with my friend slash sister, Jaya. Hello. And we both go to Spelman, so yeah. <laughs> and basically, we're gonna be talking about BCF, why you should go. And I want everybody to go who watches this video, so I'm gonna be really excited and pumped. So, we've both been to conference. Yes. And I've been, I think I've been three times. And you've been I've been two one, time. one. Okay, one. Mm -hmm. And so, first off, I want to talk about what is BCF. So, BCF is a campus ministry, and it's at many different schools. I think Spelman is like one of the few HBCUs it's at. It's at Howard Morgan. It's at College Park, UMD. It's really big and heavy in the DMV area. But there's BCFs all over, mostly around the East Coast. And basically, they're just um, student Christian leaders that have like Bible studies, discipleship groups, and Christian events on their campus. Campus. But we're specifically talking about not just BCF, but the conference. And BCF conference is the annual conference of the organization where all the different people from different BCF chapters, we all come together and we just like, you know, just glorify God together, worship, there's um, there's food, there's a place to stay and all this stuff. It's basically just to unite the whole BCF annually. And it's just an amazing, empowering event. And so this video is about why you should go to BCF conference. So um, do you want to talk about like why people should go or like your personal experience or anything? So I went to BCF conference last year. Um, I heard, heard great things about it from Vanilla. And it was an awesome experience. I got to connect with other Christians at my school and also had, got to connect with other Christians in other states. And it was just an awesome time to fellowship and worship and unplug from the world and have a lot of fun. Yeah, so for me, I've gone like three times and it's always awesome. I'm actually from the DMV area, so a lot of people who are in BCF are from the DMV area. I'm also African, a lot of people who are in BCF are <laughs> West African. So for me, it's like getting to see like my long lost family all over again every year. Cause I'm in Atlanta right now at Spelman, so I don't get to see them that much. But um, I love it cause a lot of my friends in BCF, like they're young, they're on fire for God. So if like you're a young person and you're really on fire for the Lord, or if you're a young person, you're not on fire for the Lord, it's gonna set you on fire. That's what I like about it. It's like, uh, I don't wanna say spiritual detox, like a spiritual rejuvenation. So it's like, if you feel like, you know, weary or like you need some type of spiritual inspiration or encounter the Lord, it's great to go to. So, um, I guess like if we could just share like a story, I have a lot of stories about me. See, I've gone like three times. But I don't know, do you have anything like that really stood out to you when you went? I didn't go the year she went. So, um, anything like that really stood out to you? I would say that the most memorable part of my experience was um, I spoke in tongues for the first time. Oh, wow, I didn't know that! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that! Okay! Yeah, so that was wow. a very. <laughs> That was a very interesting experience. Definitely took me on another level um, in my spirituality. So um, I would definitely say the Holy Spirit is there at that conference. Um, the Spirit is very all in the room and it's filled with a lot of people. So that would be the most memorable experience. Hey, Rumi! BCS last year. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. I didn't even know that. Like, I'm like the person like loves to see people like speak in tongues the first time. So yeah. But um, for me. My story's really long because like the way I like got into BCF is an amazing story. I'm gonna have to do a video about that when I reach 100k. But um, basically every time I go, like I write stuff to God, like what I want to experience, and like literally every single thing I write down happens. And I just encourage you if you go write stuff down that you want to happen, like you know, like come on, y'all, God made the whole universe, so He could definitely answer like your prayer. So like just ask specifically what you want, like you know, Bible says you have not because you ask not, but I ask for specific stuff, like God. Give me a sign if I'm supposed to do this. And he gave me like 10 signs at BCF. Or um, things about my calling. Like I didn't like understand what I was like doing in Christianity. I was like, why am I like, like I wanted to be Christian. I was like, why am I here? Like I don't fit in with this Christian thingy. But um, the Lord like solidified me my identity in Christ. And I also met other believers that are kind of alike like me and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then for me, it's just like when I came back to my campus, I felt like my campus was more on fire and I like, got to meet more Christians, but for me, I would say one thing that I want to encourage y'all is, came to my mind while you were talking, was the money. 
Um, don't like let money hinder you from going. I don't know. How did you go? Did you just pay or did? Yeah, I paid. Okay, like the last okay. minute though. The last minute I was able to get the money. <laughs> okay, so she just paid. Okay, y'all. Um, I never pay for conference. So <laughs> every year I go, somehow someone either is like. God showed me that you're a woman of faith, so I'm gonna pay for you to go. Like, or one time it was like, I fundraised so much. Like, my friends and I, we made like jerk chicken, curry chicken. I think I made fried rice, ginger beer, plantains. Like, I made all this food. We had Puff Puff, we sold it. And I also sold Krispy Kreme to everybody on campus at Morehouse, yeah. And um, I think they were having like a um, step show. I sold it to everybody. That I had made so much off selling this stuff that they were like, you don't need to pay, you know? Like, so things like that. Um, what else? The other year, the other year, my friend's mom was like, "Oh, Vanilla wants to go, so she paid, or we fundraised, but whatever. It just always works out." Yeah, but basically, somehow, it always works out for me to go. And so, oh yeah, and then last, so because the first three years I went, it always worked out for me to go. Last year, um, it worked out for me to go too. But that year, I was like, so what I did was I was so blessed. Like three years, I'd gone for free. I was like. Mm -hmm. Maybe bless someone else, so I just gave the ticket away to someone else. And I text this girl, she's like, oh my gosh, I've been praying to God to go to the event. Exactly like Sorry, y'all, the video keeps going in and out, but this is, I feel like y'all need to hear this, but don't let money be a hindrance. If you want to go, God will make a way. Like, you never know what's going to happen. So that's what I would say. Encourage you guys, if you want to go, just go. We were having some technical difficulties, but don't let finances be a hindrance yeah. to you going. You need to go. Come out to BCF conference, even if you just have a, an idea about it, just still come and check it out. Oh, gosh. Yeah, y'all should go. I want to see y'all there. I may go. I don't know if I'm going this year or not, but um, I'm trying to graduate. But y'all should come. They play African praise music, so you can, you know, do your little. Yes, this is my first time hearing African pra praise music at BCF. Americans be like. So yeah, y'all should come. They do. Oh yeah, they have food. They have place for you to stay. All that's oh, included. Yeah. And just think about you're getting so your life's gonna be changed forever, forever. for eternity. That's why you're paying this money. So you guys should all go. I want to see all of y'all there. Yeah. So, if you go to Spelman, like, you really need to go. <laughs> so, BCF Conference is February 12th through the 14th in North Carolina. Yeah, and the website is nc2016.bethelcampusfellowship.org. So, I'll put the link to it below. So, it's nc2016.bethelcampusfellowship.org. I'll put the link below so you have no excuse if you're dyslexic that you know you, you got it. So, um, also follow BCS Spellman on Instagram at BCS Spellman. And also follow me on Instagram at Vanilla Like Whoa. And follow Jaya at j.k.i.e.r.e. -E. And you guys can DM us if you have any questions. We won't think you're stalking us. Yeah. You can like, just DM me all your questions at once. I won't think you're being weird. So yeah, all our links will be below. And thank you guys for watching. Thank Bye. You. Bye.